Hi guys, welcome to another Free Scroll Generator video for Autodesk Inventor. The reason for this video is I wanted to tell you about a great new update in the tool and uh, allowing you to create some geometry that previously was uh, requiring some manual input and is now automatic. So uh, let me just explain. You've always been able to create geometry like this with the app automatically, but if I hit the simulate button here um, in the add-in, then um, you'll see the movement of the bottles. Uh, it starts off uh, the bottle pitch is quite high, and then the bottles become closer together, spin round, and they are almost touching by the end of the shaft there. Okay, um, but what if I wanted to make the bottles actually touch this end? Now that previously up to this point would have required some manual input. The app would have created surfaces. Uh, for this slimmer section of the shaft here that would result and you'd have had to trim those surfaces manually using a YouTube instruction video that we put together but now that's no longer required happy days so allow me to demonstrate if I go to uh, the generate tab again let's just make a slight change to the design of this shaft so if I hit edit bottle shape you'll see the size of the bottle is 48 millimeters long so let me just hit finish and generate again and uh, so if we decided that the end pitch was going to be 48 millimeters not 61 millimeters now we have to take a bit of a guess in here for that so if i try 200 until i can get it down okay so coincidentally the uh the um putting 200 in there allows me to get an end pitch of exactly 48 millimeters so that's the only change i need to make obviously you're aware of the other changes I can make to rotation and shaft length and OD and all of that stuff. I'll leave the accuracy on minimum so that you can see uh, nice and quickly what's going on. And I'm just going to hit uh, hit build here. So what we expect is, I'll, I'll just chat while that's going because hopefully it'll be reasonably quick. Um, so what we expect is in this area here where the bottle pitch is very close, or in fact the bottles are actually touching, the diameter of the shaft is going to be reduced and uh, the geometry becomes more complex as a result but now this is taken care of automatically so without any further chat I'm going to speed the video up slightly at this point and we'll see the result. Right, the app's nearly finished processing and you can see here these overlapping surfaces that we would have had to manually trim uh, using further surf surfaces but uh, now the app's going to take care of that for us. There we go. Okay, so that was operation completed in about a minute and a half. Let's just turn off this uh, Helix sketch and you can see this geometry that's been created. Nice smooth uh, chamfer there created on top of that uh, reduced shaft section. So um, let me just show you an option before we simulate this. That chamfer size there can be controlled if I hit generate again. That chamfer size can be created, controlled in this options tab here. I've currently got a chamfer depth here of one millimeter. You can make that less or more. It has to be more than zero um, to succeed with the operation. Okay, so I'll just close that form. But let's hit simulate and see if we've got the result that we were after. Okay, and here's our simulate form. Let's drag that along so the pitch becomes smaller, the bottles twist, and they perfectly touch as we go through this final section here. It's a perfect result. Okay, I hope you find this very useful, and keep the good ideas coming. Thanks a lot.